Hello, welcome YouTube to today's new tip of the day, which is going to be how to know when to zone and what to zone. I see this question come up a lot on Reddit and other forums, as well as I see folks struggling with maybe some things like not enough employees, you know, not enough educated workers, maybe not enough goods. Some of this can all tie into just basically what you've zoned in, in the proportions, we'll say, that you've zoned in. So let's go ahead and look at our RCI bars on the right on my PlayStation. So it's going to be on the right. You can see you have residential, commercial, and industry slash office. So keep in mind, if you're, if you're new, the orange one at the bottom could be office or it could be industry. It doesn't have to necessarily be industry. So the first thing I do before I zone any additional residential custom person people and then bring them into my city is I look at unemployment. That's over here. You, you open up the menu, however you do it on the platform you're on. You look at the little person man guy and it says population, you know, how much population, jobs available, all that stuff. And you can see here I have an unemployment of 5%. Funny, funny story is I was actually watching Twitch, watching somebody build a city and I asked, and they were struggling with something. I forget what they were doing. They were like, they weren't sure what to do. And I asked them, well, what's your unemployment? And they didn't even know where the unemployment is. So hopefully, you know where it is. And if you don't, I just showed you where it is. And you can see right here, it's, it's on, the, on the little man here, unemployment. Ideally, I like to keep my unemployment between 4 and 6%. And why is that? The reason I, I keep it between 4 and 6% is because it encourages folks to take jobs so when it is four to four to six percent or even higher that means you have more people than jobs right so what that does in the game and the game mechanic is it somewhat forces people especially highly educated workers to take a lower educated position so you basically make them like underemployed if that makes sense and therefore you know people because sims you know, citizens can take kind of like the next lower educated job. So like a highly educated person can take a well-educated position, a well-educated position person could take an educated position and so on and so forth. So by keeping a somewhat, we'll say moderate unemployment, you're gonna force some of those folks that are say, like I said, highly educated to take maybe some of those well-educated jobs and, and so on and so forth. So it'll keep your you know commercial zones, your industrial zones, your office zones full of employees because they'll want to take those jobs. So if it's below 4%, you're, I would say you're kind of in trouble. You need to zone more residents. If you're above 6%, I would say you need to take your foot off the gas and, uh, you know, do some other things and let your residents kind of come in and do, do, their, do their thing. Unless, one key caveat, unless you're trying to push like your industry's DLC to level 5, in which case I would encourage you to run a 10% plus unemployment. That way it'll force folks to take those jobs so you can quickly level up your industry's DLC to five stars. That's, like I said, that's, there's certain unique situations where you might want to drive unemployment up a little higher, but in most cases you're going to want to keep it, sorry, bumped out of that around five, four to five, four to six percent, sorry. Commercial. Commercial is a little tricky. Because there's no like real direct way to like measure how you're doing with your commercial. So we're gonna we're gonna loop back to that because it, it's gonna take us out of this menu into a different menu, and I'll show you some of that stuff. Whether to zone office or industry, of course you can look at your demand bar here on the bottom right for the, the say you know the I part or the yeah the I part of it, and see okay if you have demand or not. But I always go over here and look at import and export, so your outside connections. If you're roughly balanced, so if you're running a balanced city, you want these numbers to be roughly zero. Mine are at 669 and 829 for 100 and we'll say 7,000 population city. If you're importing, like I am right now, and I see I have a little bit of industrial demand or we'll say orange demand, I would go ahead and say, let me throw down a little bit more industry because what I want to do is bring that back into balance so that I'm neither importing or exporting the purple goods. You see the goods there in the pie chart there, it's on the right, that little sliver. Go ahead and zone just a little bit more industry 
let that kind of, let's just say, bring that back into alignment. Now, if you're running an office only kind of city, or even maybe a very heavy industrial city, you know, you can ignore this part because your numbers are going to be much wider range depending on what you're doing. But like I said, if you're running a bound city, ideally your goods should be neither importing or exporting, which means your industry in your city is providing the goods for your commercial areas. Now, if I was exporting a lot of purple, which I'm not, then I would say, okay, let me let off the gas on the industry. You know, it's providing more than enough for my town and it's actually exporting. So let me go ahead and zone some office. So I look at my unemployment first. Okay, maybe if it's above 6%, I don't have enough jobs for the people. I go ahead and go, let me zone something. Well, let me go look at my import and export. I don't need any industry, so I don't need a zone industry. I have the option now to either zone office or I can zone commercial. And now this is going to kind of tie into commercial. To look at your commercial, you kind of want to look at this here, the city info map and look right in the middle of the screen here where it says zone buildings distribution right underneath all your levels and I always kind of like look I not always not like it's like every day or every hour but I like to just take a spot check once in a while and say where am I at on my zone building distribution because in my experience I have found that roughly we'll say these are rough numbers so plus or minus maybe five or so percent your residents residential zoning is going to be around 50 to 60 percent which is kind of where it's at right now it's a little bit past 50 percent which is good your commercial is going to be roughly in that 25 to 30 percent range which is this one once again is kind of a little bit more commercial commercial and then your office and your industry are going to take up the next kind of like 25 or a quarter of the pie and most times will be roughly 50 50 office to industry Okay, so what can change this pie chart a little? You have the Industry 4.0 policy, which is what I have on, which gives you 50% more goods. So that naturally is going to shrink down your industry sliver a little bit, which is the, the orange, and widen the um, office, which is kind of like the lightish blue. But once again, the two combined should be roughly, we'll say 25 to 20%. You saw earlier... I was a little light on the industry. I'm, I'm, I'm importing a little bit, so you know if I were to address that now, you can you can imagine the orange get a little bit bigger, maybe pushing the commercial down just a tad, and kind of everything kind of rejostling around, and we would reread those numbers. So that's really it. That's your your new tip of the day. Use your unemployment to determine whether you're going to zone residential or not. Also use your unemployment in tandem with, and we'll go back into the menus, in tandem with the outside connection to see if you need more jobs because your unemployment's actually a little high. And then what jobs you should zone. Should I zone, or not commercial, should I zone industry or should I zone office? And then if you're like, well, I don't really want to do either one, then you can check your check here and say, okay, well, is my commercial rate around 25%? Yeah, well, then you zone a little bit more. If it's like 40, 50%, or well, maybe you're overzoned and you might be starting to see, you know, the not enough buyers because there's not enough people in your city to like go to your commercial and buy stuff or um, something like that. Not enough in educated workers or regular workers. It could be just that you overzoned that, that certain area. I think that's it. If you have any questions, of course, post it down below. And have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'm also on Twitch under New Build Cities as well. Just smash my name all together and find me there. And as always, happy building.